My name is Jeff Giroux, and today I'm going to be covering the F5 failover mechanism in the Azure cloud using HA via LB. I'm going to draw some things on the diagram first, and then we'll talk about some requirements and IP configurations. First, we need an Azure LB. We also need two F5 units. This is big IP unit A and big IP unit B. I'll put some back-end servers. And before we get into the IP configurations, one main requirement of this is that you require SNAT to be configured on the virtual server listener. Otherwise, this is going to result in asymmetrical traffic. So moving on to the IP configurations, we're going to have some type of IP address up on the Azure LB. Uh, it'll be a public IP, but for now, we'll use 1.1.1.1. There's a concept on the ALB of backend pools. This is important because the Azure LB will send to the backend VM on secondary IP addresses. So what we need to do is still build out our F5. We have our primary external interface for each unit. And we also have an internal side as well. We'll give this an IP of 10.1.1.10. This is its primary IP address associated as a self IP. We'll do the same for the second unit. And for the back end network, we'll, we'll take a 10.1.2. So we'll do 10, 1, 2, 10. And this one is 10.1.2. Now remember that Azure LB sends to the secondary IP of your VM appliance. So it's important to make sure that we also have another IP. During uh, ARM templates, this gets uh, deployed automatically. So let's drop a secondary IP. We'll call this uh, essentially the secondary. And we have 10.1.1.12. And we'll make this secondary 10.1.1.13. Now keep in mind we had the backend pool concept. So the ALB is going to be talking to pool members using 10.1.1.12 to get to big IP unit A and 10.1.1.13 to get to big IP unit B. This will produce equal load balancing between the pair, which will then send traffic to the backend. Now, what does this require on the F5 to make this work? We have a few different VIP configurations that allow us to pass traffic. And these are our listeners on the F5 config. We have the option to do a wildcard. Now, for App A, App B, App C, maybe there's different ports. Maybe you have a port. 443. This could be app 1. Maybe for app 2, you have the same thing on a different port. Wildcard, listening on port 8443. Another option is to have an actual VIP listener in the segment of your network subnet. So an option could be app 3 equals 10 dot one dot one dot zero slash 24 with the same concept app a would have a port app b would have a port so let's draw the port numbers up there and this allows traffic to incoming alb to the back end pools using the secondary ips to equally load balance once it hits the f5 it's going to listen to one of the listeners and then from there you have your typical pool members and configurations to get to the back that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next series.